Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool moody dark tone in Lightroom Mobile. All right. So first, open your Lightroom Mobile and import the photos. And let's open a photo here. The first thing we are going to do is we're gonna tap on the light here and we're gonna drop the exposure because a moody tone is almost every moody, moody tone is a dark so that we can feel the the dark uh, tone right so that's around minus 0.670 EV and the contrast may increase a little bit so that it will contrast and the highlights we're gonna increase it a little bit so the fog is a little bit popping up and so here's the, the the main thing in the dark tone we have to uh, reduce the shadows so like this around 30s 30, 34 and we gonna increase the whites so that the hands and some of the highlight parts don't get too underexposed and the blacks a little bit around minus 10 right you can see here before and after and probably a little bit more exposure All right and we're gonna go to curve and we're gonna drop the highlights here it's probably not gonna affect much in this photo but it definitely affect on the, uh, the other photos all right so we're gonna drop this a little bit okay so in the in the green uh just a little bit probably and just increase a little bit on the bottom part here all right it's done that you can see the difference and we're gonna move to the color part here we're gonna decrease the temperature so that it will be a lot more cool and the tint and the vibrance we can increase it to 75 and now it looks very very uh very terrible because it's like oversaturated but we gonna desaturate this so it will be look a lot moody like this boom All right after we done this we're gonna go to the uh, the effects and we're gonna increase a little bit clarity just a little and we're gonna dehaze it a little bit around three and yeah just vignette a little bit just drop down around minus 12 minus 13 and let's go to the uh, detail this is not really necessary for me right now and there we go before and after we can look how moody it is now we can copy the settings here let's copy all of it and uh, often and let's go to another photo and paste the settings and we can see the difference right it'll be a lot moody and moodier and in this photo as well we're gonna paste settings and boom probably it's like a underexposed you might you might need to change the exposure a little bit like in this case it will not really match in any photo so you have to adjust a little bit to suit your need right so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like, and comment and i'll see you in the next video Bye.